What is devolution? Devolution is defined as the flow of power, relevance, and usefulness to a lower level. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to talk about the devolution of society around one of humankind's greatest engineering feats. This engineering feat is responsible for spreading the word of Jesus, literally responsible for the United States' independence, and brokers peace between conflicting nations. I'm talking, of course, about the pen. I have had 11 years of education experience centered around the pen. I took notes with the pen, I did tests with the pen, I did my homework with the pen, and when I was stressed out, I chewed on my pen. <laughs> this year, my school, Justin Siena, made the leap from an education centered around the pen to an education centered around the iPad. And because of this leap, two things happened. First of all, my entire way of learning, my 11 years of education experience centered around the pen were completely gone. However, also because of this change, I have been able to successfully learn through two different means, through the iPad, uh, iPad, through the pen, and through the iPad. Now, my school is not the only program looking for more technology. Programs across the nation, in fact, programs here in the Napa Valley, like Napa Learns, are advocating for a greater technological influence in every single classroom. Because of this, the devolution of society around the pen is affecting every single one of us. I mean, sure, there's the, well, we're using pens less now idea. But it's more about society's trends and the parasitic and systemic nature of technology that continues to have its grasp on society. Now, a single more trivial issue regarding the disappearance of pens is the disappearance of handwriting. What used to be an art is now not taught in many schools across the United States. An example of this would be my elementary school. I remember sitting in the fourth grade and learning every single character, every single uppercase letter, every single lowercase letter, and at the time, it was absolutely excruciating. <laughs> but now, I'm thankful, because whenever I write, I write in cursive. So let me ask everybody a little question. Who here has taken the SAT or knows somebody who has? So in my experience, the SAT is a four to five hour long grueling experience in which a group of 25 students sit in a small classroom and try to solve extremely difficult trigonometry problems and decipher overly ambiguous works of 12th century English poetry. And during this four to five hours, you will not hear one complaint from any single one of those kids, but there is one more section of the SAT. The College Board, in order to ensure that you won't cheat, has you copy down a short block of text saying that you will not do just that. But here's the kicker. It must be written in cursive. And if nothing else today, I'm here to let you know that during the five minutes that you're given to copy down this short statement is the five minutes that you will hear all of the complaining during the SAT. So the disappearance of handwriting is just one aspect of the disappearance of pens. The philosophical implication, as I said, is really the bigger issue. Technology has always followed the same pattern in society, starting with the printing press in the 1400s, moving on to the typewriter in the mid-19th century, and finally, it's all culminated with this, the iPad. Now, the thing about technology is that it is trendy. But what were just, what were just trends quickly become something absolutely necessary to function. Now, let me ask you all a question. Imagine trying to find a job, or imagine trying to remain productive in your community without access to a computer. It's impossible, just like it's impossible for me to function in my school without using the iPad. So, to prove to you where society uh, places its values, I'm gonna do one simple little drastic thing. Here's my pen. And this is the same pen that, in my opinion, has laid the foundation for society to become as great as it has, humanity to become as great as it has. And for me, has laid my foundation for a great education and a great life. Here is my iPad, <laughs> which for me is good for playing games during fifth period calculus class. <laughs> Your reaction pretty much proves my point. 
So I've talked about the disappearance of handwriting, at least in part. I've talked about the uh, philosophical implications with technology. But you might be asking yourself at this point, how does this go against the grain? These are my AP government notes. And in the beginning of the class, I decided that the best way for me to learn was to write with my pen and listen with my ear. Now, many of you probably think that this is the best way for people to learn. But I'm here to tell you that out of the 25 kids in my AP government class, only about four of them still take notes with their pen. <laughs> so, in the end, society can continue to devolve, and that's fine with me. I've come to accept the fact that technology will always be a part of life, and in order for me to succeed, I'm going to have to embrace it, and that is okay. However, I will be taking my pen to college. <laughs> Thank you very much.